Welcome back to Scottish Movies, and it's time to go over everything I watched in November. Okay guys, um, I have to hold my hands up, I've done an epic fail this month, um, yeah, uh, basically last month I did a video called Unseen 80s, where I said I uh, had earmarked sort of 10 movies from the 80s, from the 80s collection, uh, that I hadn't seen, and I was going to watch them throughout November, yeah, that hasn't happened, I've managed to see four of those movies this month, um, I've only actually watched eight movies and one special this month and basically I'm blaming two things. I'm blaming the World Cup, which I'm a big football fan and yeah, I've been watching pretty much every game that's been on, on the TV and also, um, uh, not like to admit this, but um, I am a fan of um, I'm a Celebrity. Um, it's the only reality show that I really don't mind and uh, yeah, I was watching that as well. And it has dug into my sort of movie watching time. And yeah, unfortunately, uh, I have failed in my quest to watch uh, my eight unseen 80s movies. But I'm going to go through what I have watched anyway. Um, yeah, uh, as I say, I've only actually watched eight movies this month. Well, I'll go through them anyway. So, yeah, the first film I watched was uh, The Bad Guys. Um yeah, this was the animated movie from I think last year. Um, yeah, it, it was a pretty good uh, animated movie. Um, I find beyond sort of Pixar and Disney, um, a lot of animated movies don't really do it for me much anymore. I think the last really decent one I really really enjoyed was probably Mitchell's vs Machines. But well, yeah, this one wasn't too bad. Uh, basically, it's about a gang of uh, sort of animal crimp criminals uh, led by Sam Rockwell's character who's like a uh, plays wolf um, and they've basically been pulling off robbers all, all through their life and uh, then they, they basically they get caught and they decide to uh, that in order to sort of go straight in order to avoid prison time they're going to go straight um, and uh, you know be a model citizen um, some of the gang aren't too bothered about that but Wolf does want to sort of you know um, go straight and um, you know, turn his life around well it, it's quite an amusing uh, movie I, I watched it with um, with my daughter um, she wanted to watch it so uh, yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't a bad one um, i give that a 6 out of 10 uh, next up is the first movie I watched from my own scene 80s and it's Throw Mama from the Train uh, starring Dan DeVito and um, Billy Crystal. Uh, yeah, this was this was a good movie. Uh, now, the plot of this, uh, it wouldn't have meant anything to me if I'd have watched it years ago, but I watched a, um, an Alfred Hitchcock film, Strangers on a Train, uh, just a couple of months back, and it's pretty much the same premise to that film. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a, a kind of a, a, a remake, but as a comedy, I'm, I don't know. But um, if they set out that way to do that, but yeah, it's, it's very similar, where um, one character basically makes a deal to uh, bump off another character's uh, in sort, um, sort of, I think it's well, his mother basically, um, and uh, in, in return they'll bump off someone in his life. And it's uh, it's quite a funny film. Um, I've forgotten how funny Danny DeVito can be. Um, obviously, I know him from like things like Twins, and I know he's obviously plays the Penguin in Batman. Um, and he's he's made loads of other films. So Ruthless People is one of my favourites as well. But I've forgotten how funny uh, Danny DeVito is, and uh, I did really enjoy this one. Um, and I give um, I was going to say Stranger on the Train. Sorry, Throw Mama from the Train. Uh, Six and a half out of ten. Um, yeah, and also, is it Anne Ramsey, I think her name was, the lady out of um, the Goonies uh, playing the mum? She was she was pretty good as well. Uh, next up, I watched another one from the Unseen 80s. 
and this was Over the Top, starring Sylvester Stallone. Uh, yeah, this is basically the story of um, Stallone's character Lincoln Hawk, and he's like a truck driver, and he's trying to sort of bond with his with his son after his uh, his wife dies. He's sort of been out of his life for the majority of his life, and he's trying to bond with uh, his son, and they ultimately end up in in a sort of a, an arm wrestling con uh, competition. Um, and it's a pretty, pretty predictable story in that sense. Um, what well, I did enjoy it is, is, it's not a bad sort of eighties, cheesy eighties Stallone flick. Um, but yeah, um, and I also give that one six out of ten as well. It was worth a watch. It was quite good. Uh, next up, um, I was making my video, uh, which you would have seen by now for. Football movies uh, you could watch during the World Cup if you want to watch the football. Um, and while I was on the hunt for those, I found a movie on Netflix I'd never seen called She's the Man. Um, yeah, this starred um, was it Amanda Bynes, I think her name was. And she basically pretends to be a brother to um, so she can play football in the, the guy's football team. Because uh, basically as a girl, uh, she's, she won't let her play. So she sort of disguises herself as a as a guy and uh, gets in the, in the men's football team. And she's also got a sort of Channing Tatum in there and um, as a as a mate. And um, Benny Jones is like the coach. But um, I really enjoyed this movie. It's, I, I probably more a lot more than I should have done. But it's kind. Of, I, I, I suppose you could say it's a sort of a, a almost a kind of a rom com. But it was footy related. Um, I didn't put it in me uh, in my top ten football movies. To watch on the World Cup, but um, I did quite enjoy it, um, and yeah, I'd, I'd give that one six and a half out of ten as well. Um, I would, I would watch it again. It was, it was surprisingly enjoyable. It's quite funny. Um, next up is a another unseen eighties movie, and I watched for the first time Black Rain, starring um, Michael Douglas and Andy Garcia. Um, this was a Ridley Scott film. And it's basically these two cops having to escort a, a member of the Yakuza uh, back to Japan. Um, and then he sort of escapes and they, they go after him and he's kind of an action thriller. And then, yeah, this was a really good movie. Um, a lot of twists and turns. And uh, I don't know why I've not seen this sooner. And I think it's quite an underrated film. It's it's um, it's not really it's not really one that's talked about. As obviously you got a good director there in uh, Ridley Scott, and I don't think he's really talked about very much. But uh, yeah, I did really enjoy Black Rain. I give that a seven out of ten. Uh, next up, I went to the uh, cinema to watch Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. Um, and yeah, this was a good um, Marvel movie. Um, I did have problems with it. I think it was a good half hour too long. It was definitely too long. It did have uh, dragging points to it. Um, you know, the the first sort of half an hour, well, to be fair, most of the movie sort of paying tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Uh, and, he, and he was missed. Um, and although it was it was a bad movie, uh, it, it was he was definitely missed. Uh, and he was quite an emotional movie as well, particularly the, the first half hour or so. Um but yeah, it's, it, 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 after like Laura of Thor, Love and Thunder, which I still enjoyed, but it 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 wasn't the best. Um, it was a sort of a bit more of a return to form. Um, and yeah, Black Panther, what kind of ever? I give seven and a half out of ten. Uh, next up was the final eighties unseen eighties movie I watched this month, and it was a uh, sort of a teen comedy along with. Lines of Porkies, uh, which I have seen from the 80s. Um, and this starred, um, it had a good cast. It was Sean Penn, Phoebe Cates, who um, looks really good in this movie. And if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Um, and also Judge Reinhold. And it, I was surprised to see how many um, other actors were in there. Some, I uh, believe, making the debuts, and that was Eric Stoltz and also Nicolas Cage. In very very minor roles, um, and it was also Forrest Whitaker, and um, Anthony Edwards, so, uh, I think it was Goose from Top Gun. Well, yeah, this is a pretty funny eighties um, teen comedy. Um, I don't know why I, I, I 
this just escaped me back in the day and back in the ages. I don't I don't know why. I I seen her uh, porkies. Um and yeah, this one I don't know, it was only recently, probably in the last few years that he come come to uh uh come to me and you know, I, I found it in uh, I think it was Poundland for a couple of quid and uh yeah, I picked up the Blu ray and this year I did quite enjoy it. Um I give that a seven out of ten as well. Uh, and the next sort of final movie I actually watched the, of the this last month uh, was uh, Mean Machine, which is um, the remake of The Longest Yard um, with Burt Reynolds in, in America. Um, it's basically a, a, a sort of a soccer version of that. Uh, now I did talk about Mean Machine in um, in my um, uh, Again, football films you could watch during the World Cup video. Um, I I really enjoyed this. I'm not, I had seen it before, um, but it's been a long, long time. And again, like she's the man, I was kind of digging out sort of football films to to uh, to watch myself during the World Cup. And this did actually make me, me top ten after after I watched it again. And it was just hilarious, it's particularly the uh, the football match at the end. Um, it was it was very very funny. Um, uh, particularly, they had the the commentators was made made us laugh. Um, obviously, you were cons as well, and uh, yeah, it was it was a very amusing film. Um, and I I give that eight out of ten. Um, I really really, really enjoyed uh, Me Machine. Um, finally, this month uh, I watched the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. On Disney Plus, um, now Guardians Galaxy and in the second one, uh, probably my favourite Marvel movies besides like Endgame and Infinity War and probably No Way Home. Uh, I, I just love the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think they're great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the the third movie. Obviously, we got a trailer uh, just recently. Uh, it, that just looks great. It looks like it's going to be an emotional one. Uh, but yeah, the, the holiday special it was it was it was a lot of fun for it was like about what fifty fifty minutes or about an hour, if that, and uh, had all the characters in there and uh, well Drax and um, Mantis go looking for Kevin Bacon as a Christmas present for uh, Star Lord, uh, for Peter and um, yeah it was it was just it was just a lot of fun, um, and you kind of learn uh, about the meaning of Christmas and and that and. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the holiday special. If, not, if you've not seen it, it's definitely worth checking out on uh, Disney Plus. I give that an eight out of ten as well. I really enjoyed it, um, and that was it for my November uh, viewings. Uh, as I say, on my hands up, epic fail. Um, it didn't happen. Blame the World Cup. Blame my celebrity. But uh, I just not watched the movies this month, and I do apologise for anyone waiting to hear uh, my opinion on uh, all the unseen eighties movies that I uh, I said I was going to watch. Now the other the other six out of the ten that I haven't watched, I I will get to those in the future. Um, I don't I don't know when that will be because December we're going to have um, sort of basically Christmas movies. Uh, I have done another video for first time Christmas movie watches that I plan on on doing. Um, there's not quite as many of them, and I think with it being Christmas, I'll, I'll find it a lot easier to uh, get through them. Um, and the World Cup is up pretty much uh, uh, coming to an end now. So um, yeah, um, yeah. So that that's it for this uh, this video. Uh, comment down below uh, if you've seen any of these movies. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next month. Bye, guys.